Hi everyone, uh, this is Doug. I'm going to start a new series. Uh, this is going to be useful while I'm really busy with uh, work at the time. At this time, where I'm just going to do famous quotes of Paul, I'm going to do one quote at a time. It's probably going to be only uh, 30 to 60 seconds, usually, maybe a couple minutes. So um, this is a uh, Helmut Koster, a preeminent New Testament scholar. Helmut Koster. He passed in 2016. He was a Harvard University president, uh, professor. Excuse me of New Testament studies and so on and so forth. So let's see what he says. He writes this, is the, the, this is uh, 1971. Paul stands in the twilight zone of heresy. Helmut Koister, The Theological Aspects of Primitive Christian Heresy, and James Robinson, editor, The Future of Our Religious Past, New York, Harper and Row, 1971. Next quote, this is from 1990. One immediately encounters a major difficulty Whatever Jesus had preached it did not become the content of the missionary proclamation of Paul, nor of the churches from which his proclamation took its origin. Helmut Koster, Ancient Christian Gospels, 1990 at 51. And finally, sayings of Jesus do not play a role in Paul's understanding of the event of salvation. The Epistle of James also shares with the Sermon on the Mount the rejection of the Pauline thesis that Christ is the end of the Mosaic law. Paul did not care at all what Jesus had said. Had Paul been completely successful, very little of the sayings of Jesus would have survived. Helmut Koister with Stephen Patterson in an article entitled The Gospel of Thomas, Does It Contain Authentic Sayings of Jesus? in Bible Review, 1990, Volume 6, Number 2, at 28 to 39. So if this was helpful, uh, giving you a perspective of a scholar who is uh, objective.